everyone, welcome, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tez Milan. I am a Filipina American creative. Since today, the day that this video is coming out is Black Friday, one of the biggest shopping days in all of US history. No, not, not really, hopefully not. But one of the biggest shopping days in the entire year, I thought I would share all of the equipment that I have ever bought for my niche YouTube channel. I didn't wanna buy cheap equipment. I knew that I wanted to buy the best equipment possible right out the gate. I went balls to the wall because I knew that the quality and the difference in quality would be substantial and noticeable. I wanted to put my best foot forward for you. Having said that, I don't necessarily think that that was the best way to go. <laughs> hindsight is, what, what do they call it? Vision is hindsight? No, hindsight is foresight. I don't know, something. There are certain things that I would have done very differently. And that's why I want to do this video for you so that you can learn what it is that I did, as well as the things that I love and the things that I do not love about the equipment that I bought for my niche YouTube channel. The other thing too that I want to say is that there are certain things I would not buy. I just wouldn't buy them. I bought them thinking that I would need them for a certain purpose. And then it turned out that my YouTube channel then evolved. That's what happens with niche YouTube channels is they kind of like evolve and grow as you go along, especially if you're just starting out like I was this year. Hopefully this will help you as you start your journey or continue your journey with your YouTube channel, or if you just are curious to know what it is that I bought in order to get myself going. Because it is Black Friday, the links are all included in the description bar below, so you can purchase them on your own. All you do is just click the link, then you can just go on and buy. Sorry, I'm getting so emotional right now because I'm seeing like what it is that I bought and when I bought it and it's like, oh my gosh, I've come so far. The very first thing that I purchased for my YouTube channel was a Manfrotto mini tripod for mirrorless cameras. Oh my gosh, I actually really, really love this handheld tripod because I use it mostly for my iPhone, but this keeps everything like steady. It's like really amazing. The other thing too that's really cool about this handheld tripod, when I first started my YouTube series, I thought I was just gonna be in my living room regurgitating information, telling you things that I found out online that were so amazing about Filipinos. And then it turned out that I started to do like vlogs and start to go out into the city and like all kinds of places. This handheld tripod is so cool because I can just basically put the tripod out. My iPhone's already attached to it and I just set it wherever it is I need and I can take selfies and video without having to hold it. The only thing that I obviously can't do is I can't wrap it around anything. You know, there are those tripods that have like the weird bobbles and they're all attached and then you can like wrap it around like tree branches. I actually used to have one of those. It was too, flimsy. I needed something that's really sturdy. And that's what's really great about the Manfrotto as well. It's really sturdy. I mean, I put this thing in water because I'm needing a certain angle and there's only a stream. And as long as it's not too deep, I can put my tripod in there. So that's what's really great about this handheld tripod is that it is so sturdy, it's flexible, and it keeps my frame steady. And it was the first thing that I purchased. The next thing that I purchased was a Limo Studio soft lighting umbrella kit. I never use this thing. I ended up just buying ring lights and ring lights are so easy to use. I kind of want to show you what I'm talking about because <laughs> I have like three ring lights like set up right now. These are all my ring lights. I've got three of them right now. <laughs> oh, point it at me. I just never use this studio light kit. I mean, it's got everything. Light bulbs, umbrellas, stands. I think I took it out of the package once and I looked at the light bulbs once, but I actually have never put the kit together. I just have never needed it. Either I've used natural lighting, which I highly recommend you use because it's the best type of lighting. But if you're in a, like a shadowy place or sometimes if I'm on the road and I just have to film somewhere and it's like super dark, I'll pull out my ring light. But like, I can't bring out this huge cumbersome umbrella lighting kit. If you are not a professional photographer or if you just want to have something that's a bit more easy to use and user friendly, just get ring lights. Ring lights are super easy. Don't bother with this studio lighting system. It's too much. It is so much. It's so much. The next thing I bought, which everybody will need, is an SD card. That's the card that goes into your camera and captures all of your film. So you can't use your camera without an SD card. So I have two SD cards. I got a 256 gigabyte SD card. These things are like pretty tiny, so don't lose them. And so it's good to have a case. I just had this plastic case that I got when I bought my Canon camera because I got like a kit. So just make sure that you have a place where all of your little SD cards can live because A, you don't want them to get damaged and then B, you just don't wanna lose them, especially if you have really precious or important film footage in there. You do not want to be losing or damaging your SD card as you're trying to get it onto your computer. The next thing I bought was a premium two pack dual battery charger for Canon. Something to know is that your battery life is 
okay, especially for a more advanced camera and a newer camera, but they don't last long, especially if you're gonna be filming a lot of footage. There's one missing because I'm actually using it to film this right now. <laughs> it's really best to have all of your batteries that go into your Canon camera, into your Canon, sorry into your Canon camera, make sure that they're all charged up. Photographers will tell you this, they usually have like 15 batteries like hanging out somewhere, charging usually as they're shooting. I love this thing because it's super easy. I can just plug it into the wall, it charges. I've got two extra batteries in addition to the battery that I got with my camera. The problem that I found is that this thing was built pretty cheaply. The battery, and this happened actually relatively quickly, when you connect or put the battery into the slot where it actually sits and then charges into the charging bay, it's not connecting anymore. And now I have to like wrap a rubber band around the battery, it's not very nice. So if you want something that's inexpensive and you just wanna have extra batteries on hand, it's a great thing. The next thing I bought was a Dolica 62 inch Proline tripod and ball head. Here's the thing with industrial strength pro <laughs> tripods, they're heavy. If you are trying to go out into the world and do vlogs and travel vlogs or whatever, having a heavy tripod is great because it's really stable and it's strong and it's gonna withstand whatever. Usually I'm not filming when it's like crazy weather outside. I mean, that might change, especially as I start to move forward into next year. If they're just heavy, I'm pretty strong because I do yoga, but like I'm not like, you know, like super, super strong. I like lightweight tripods. They're not the most stable. It's not great if you need something super sturdy, if you're doing like extreme sports or extreme vlogging or whatever, but this Proline tripod is amazing, but it's just really heavy and it's cumbersome. That's the thing is I actually find myself, even at home, I'm using my lighter tripods just because they're easier to pull out and put together and set up and all of that. But the heavier tripods, I have to pull them out and they're just, they're heavy. They're just really cumbersome. That's something to keep in mind. Again, if you want a heavier and more sturdy tripod, definitely get this thing. But if you want something more lightweight and on the go, just, you know, can whip it together, I would just get a lighter tripod. The next thing that I bought, the Canon EOS M50 in white. This mirrorless digital camera comes with a 15 to 45 millimeter zoom lens. Here's the thing with this purchase that I made is that I actually got a kit. It was a 24 piece bundle. It came with like a whole bunch of other like lenses. It came with like lens caps and it came with a flash, which I never use. I mean, stuff that I never use. Here's the thing is that if you want to get a kit and you just want to have all the extra schnick schnack because you're like, maybe I need it. Maybe not. That, that's how I felt. I was like, maybe I'll use it, which I still haven't. And like I said, I got my Canon in white because I'm extra. And because I got my Canon in white, they gave me a lens that was silver. So my best camera is very, <laughs> It's noticeable. And actually there was a moment when I was like, I kind of wish my camera wasn't white because it's really obvious that I'm filming. <laughs> if you want to have it be more discreet, your camera, get it in black. You know, it won't be so obvious like, hey, I'm filming now. It's more inconspicuous with my iPhone, which is why I do a lot of my vlogging with my iPhone, secret, secret. And by the way, I love my Canon M50. I love it because the picture quality is so, so good. I can see the difference when I have like my two angles. Like if I'm doing an interview, I'll have my Canon be my main focus, the main perspective, so to speak, of the person that I'm interviewing. I wanna give them the best photo quality. And so then I'll use my iPhone to do a second angle, which will usually include both of us, just to have a different perspective so that I can do cutaways and all of that. Just gotta make sure that your settings are right. The next thing that I bought for my YouTube channel, I bought the Lacey Rugged USB-C five terabyte five terabyte, count them, one, two, three, four, five terabytes, hard drive, portable HDD. So this thing is like supposed to be super durable. Honestly, I think it's kind of a gimmick, to be honest, like that whole durable thing, because it's like you throw your hard drive around, regardless of whether it's got a bumper on it, you can still destroy and damage the equipment on the inside. Like it's really sensitive in there. That's really, you know, delicate. Don't, don't be throwing around your hard drives, especially if you're keeping important material in there. <gasps> I think it's more just the idea, oh, okay, it's safer. But at the same time, I don't really feel like that bumper really helps. Okay, here's the thing. I save all of my footage. My brother told me to throw it away and I was like, no, I can't, I can't part with my, my, my creation. I think I saved 26 full YouTube episodes on my first Lacey hard drive, which is why I then had to buy another one. That's my thoughts on a hard drive, but definitely you don't need a hard drive. What else did I buy? Okay. I was actually recommended to buy this microphone for my camera by a professional audio engineer who like travels the world doing sound for a living, making like rock stars sound amazing. He was like, Tej, you gotta get this microphone for your camera. And I love this brand. As a singer, as a performer, I have always, always gone to Shure. Shure is my go-to. I love Shure microphones love them and this microphone that i bought the shure vp 83f this microphone is the bomb like the quality of this microphone is 
blow my mind amazing. And so the other thing that I also bought was I bought a micro SD card. There's the SD card that's already tiny, but the micro SD card is like literally, it's smaller than my thumbnail. It's so tiny, it's tiny. And that thing goes inside the microphone. So I bought that. I also bought the adapter so that I'd be able to get all of that material from the SD card onto my computer. Highly, highly recommend this microphone. I also got the Shure A83 Fur Windjammer. I have never used a windjammer. Never, never used a windjammer. Ever, 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 ever in my life. Granted, I've had a couple of moments where I'm just like, dang, I should have been using that windjammer. But I don't know. I haven't ever been in like really super windy situations. And I just feel like if you've got like a lavalier mic, you've got a really good microphone, you know, you're not in like a hurricane or a typhoon, you kind of don't need a windjammer. So save the money. That's just my take on it. Save the money. Save the money. I bought the Rode Microphone Wireless Go 2 dual channel wireless microphone system. And it's what I'm using right now. This thing has not just one, but it has two microphones that you can stick on yourself and a guest. So for interviews, I was like, okay, well, I want to interview people. So I better get the thing that has two of them. More expensive. It's like over $300, but it's like worth it. And it's got a receiver and a trans, I think it's two transmitters and one receiver. Or it's two receivers and one transmitter. I always get them confused, but there's the things that you stick on the people and that it like captures the sound. And there's the one thing that receives the sound. So I think these are the transmitters and then the receiver is over there. The thing with the Rode microphone is that it's unstable. <laughs> <laughs> the quality of the sound is amazing. The reason why I bought this is because of these echoey rooms. I wanted to have a microphone that was like closer to my mouth so that I wasn't sounding so echoey. The problem with these is that they're just really super sensitive. So if you have problems, definitely go to the customer service for Rode. They were really super helpful. This guy, Miguel, he like helped me. He replaced the first system that I got because it wasn't working. And then the second system I got, I had more questions. Things weren't working still. He helped me get myself situated. So the Rode microphone, the quality is amazing. Highly recommend the Rode microphone if you're gonna do a lavalier system. I have been interviewing more than one other person, so I need an additional system. I didn't want to go back to the road. I was having a difficult time with road. I'll be honest about that. I was having a difficult time with road. I was considering just completely botching the whole system and just going to something else. So I ended up getting this wireless lavalier microphone set from Comica. It's actually pretty good. This thing, it'll connect to my iPhone. It comes with a bunch of different cables and it also comes with a great carrying case. It charges really quickly. What I also liked about it is it came with this charging cable system that has all the cables together. With the road, you've got like three different cables. You have to find all these cubes and say, it's just, it's a lot. But with this Comica system, it's so user-friendly and it's so quick. The one thing I don't like about it is the sound quality is not great. The Rode sound quality blows this Comica out of the water. If you need a system, a lavalier system that's cheaper than the Rode system, get this one. But if you can afford the more expensive system, get the Rode system because the quality of the sound is just going to be way better. That's that. I also got a camera car windshield suction cup mount that I use predominantly for my Canon. I have on occasion used my iPhone, but if I'm gonna have my camera in my car and I can just stick it to the windshield, like a total pro, then I'll usually stick my Canon camera on there. The thing is though, is that there's a place on my truck where, I don't know, it's like they put paint or something on the windshield and it just falls off. It doesn't stick properly. <laughs> Yeah, that's why we don't stick it up there. You have to have like a really absolute smooth surface, like glass, like full on glass for this suction cup to like suction and to stay put. If you're gonna have your Canon camera and your microphone, suddenly your camera's like this long because you've got your microphone and your camera and it's upside down and you're trying to like get it to stick inside the windshield and where the dashboard is. So sometimes it can get kind of cumbersome to figure out where to put it. But this suction cup, so strong, it does its thing. It's just like, it's, it's awesome. I also got the Hoya 55 milliliter, milliliter, 55 millimeter UV filter for my camera lens. Now this is really important because if you've got really expensive camera lenses, you wanna make sure that the glass is protected on the actual lens itself. Because these filters, if you get them in clear, basically they just act as a protection. For example, if you accidentally hit the camera or like something flies into it, it'll protect the glass that is on the lens itself and you can replace them, especially compared to how much a lens costs versus how much the filter costs, just get the filter, use that to protect your lens and then you're good to go. And you gotta make sure that you get the right size for your camera lens because the wide angle camera lens that I got, the clear filter didn't fit. So I had to buy another one. So now I have an extra filter lens for the lens that came with the Canon camera. Now I've got them on there and now I feel super safe that my lens will get cracked or scratched or whatever. So it's just really, really good protection. I highly, highly recommend that you get that lens filter. The two most important equipment purchases that I made for my YouTube channel are one, my Apple SD card reader. This is where I put my SD card right into this slot right here. This is how I get all of the data and all the files and all the film and footage that I put onto my Canon camera. I slip that card where all that is captured. I put that right into here and then I put it right into my MacBook Pro. And this thing is 
invaluable, especially because at the time that I purchased my MacBook Pro, there were not the readers that were still available in the actual computer itself. I needed an adapter to be able to get all that information onto my computer. And then from my computer onto my external hard drive. Probably the most important thing that I ever purchased for my YouTube series and the thing that's made my life so much better and so much easier is my Apple MacBook Pro. With Final Cut Pro, I call it the Rolls Royce of computers because <laughs> this thing is so fast and so wonderful to work with. I just knew that I needed to have a Mac Daddy computer. That is why I invested a lot of money <laughs> for my computer, which then also included, as I paid extra for it, the Final Cut Pro program, which is where I edit all of my episodes. Those are all my purchases that I made so far for my YouTube series and my YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, it's a lot. <laughs> happy shopping if you decide to buy any of these things on Happy, on happy Friday, on Black Friday. All the links for all of the things that I talked about are in the description bar down below. You can simply click on it and get going on your YouTube series. If you have any recommendations, if you have other equipment that you like better, definitely let me know. Leave it in the comment section down below. And if you like this episode, if it helped you in any way, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Everything that you do helps me as I continue my journey to discover my Philippine heritage. This is what a Filipina American creative looks like and she is doing her thing. I'm so grateful for having you there. Thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday. Happy shopping. <laughs> I wish you a really wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Paalam. Goodbye. <laughs>